Welcome to this old bus. Our bus is a 1962 GM 4106, a sports car of coaches. Our bus is called Cruising Classic. Let me give you a little tour. The coach was painted by John Starr, who used to paint coaches for Marathon in Coburg, Oregon, and the coyote theme. The coyote uh, eye lights up at nighttime, and the cruising classic theme carries throughout. Uh, the coyote is supposed to be the previous bus owner. His name is Ron, lived in California. That's supposed to be him howling at the moon. We really like it. The coyote theme is uh, carried out inside as well. The engine is a 6V92TA uh, silver. This is an upgrade over the original stock engine, which would have been an 8V71 natural. It has all the options. Uh, air throttle, Jake brakes, power steering, uh, V730 automatic transmission. Upgraded cooling system. It's got a new turbo in it. The bus has been serviced uh, by Joe Macer in uh, Eugene, Oregon and Scott Crosby, uh, the bus grease monkey. paint on the bus is in very good condition. Uh, we take really good care of it. There's uh, very little corrosion on the bus. Let's step inside. We'll take a walk through and then I'll point out some of the interesting features of the bus. So starting up front, features a brass handrail, and this whole board flips down for the passenger seat footrest, and there's a uh, compartment behind it, keep safety stuff in it. We keep our dog leashes and gloves there. There's a lot of stuff we're going to do to the coach to modernize it, but I think I'll save that for another video. 
This is the driver's compartment. I'll go ahead and cover some of the things that uh, are interesting about this. Has a subwoofer. Train horns. Fog lights. It has a, uh, a leveling system. It's manual for when you arrive in the campground, you can uh, level out the coach with it. And you can also set some preset pressures. It has a switch there that says auto air level and that switch fills the bags with a predetermined amount of air. The switch right to the next of it there is Magic Brakes. It has a V730 Allison automatic transmission, and that is the, uh, the shifter control and status. Tells you what gear you're in. You flip the switch up to advance the gears up, and you switch it down to advance the gears down. Full instrumentation. This is a, a switch that allows you to switch the voltage between the uh, chassis and house batteries to check the voltage. It's kind of interesting. Uh, there's your right and left wiper controls. They're air operated. And this is an unobtainium intermittent air wiper speed control. Has a CB radio that we don't use, an old CD changer. Uh, this is my uh, microphone for my hands-free Bluetooth. And uh, we have an upgraded Android Auto Deck in here, which uh, we really like. Um, it has this digital amplifier in it, which is really quite good um, lets you control all the audio levels really nicely and it's a digital EQ and it'll run any Android app and so we have the torque app in here which uh, you know the, the bus is not started right now that's what it shows when the bus is not running I guess I'll go ahead and start it and show you what this does now Torque is designed for vehicles that have OBD2. Uh, we do not obviously have OBD2 in this old bus, but uh, I designed a system that works off of Arduino that takes the instrument readings and converts them into digital values and sends them to Torque in a format that Torque understands. Uh, the big benefit of this system to me is that I can get um, alerts, audible alerts, if there's an issue. So, like, it, it's fairly responsive, too. If I go ahead and I uh, increase the speed, you know, you'll see that the gauge changes. And it fails into um, the manual instrument mode, so if uh, something goes wrong, my, you know, typical analog gauges will continue to function. And if I push the off button here on the screen, you'll hear some relays click. And these will go back to that reading and my oil pressure gauge and my temperature gauge go back to functioning as normal. But if we go ahead and turn it on, I'll go ahead and simulate a problem uh, where we lose oil pressure. I'll just shut the engine off and you'll see the oil pressure drop and we'll get an alarm. I believe it has to go below 2. 
There we go. Warning, oil pressure. Yeah, so it's pretty damn loud. Uh, it requires, obviously, that the audio be up for that to function. And I'll just click the off button there and yep. it'll revert back. I'm going to expand this system a bit more. Uh, that's a topic for another video. We've got our generator control panel here to start the generator with. This, uh, this whole center console, though, uh, how it kind of sticks out here, we want to we want to change that, take the bottom part out. This is a, uh, a propane heater. We don't really use it. It's a, it's a catalytic heater. It, um, it is a backup heat source for us. That's, that's why we keep it. Um, we're going to replace these chairs. We've got, uh, We've got some chairs that were taken out of, a, of another RV uh, on hold for us. I guess you could say after all this virus stuff gets done, we're going to go pick those up. There's a subwoofer here. I need to work on that. Uh, there's an issue with it. It's cutting out. That temperature gauge there, or that thermostat, controls the coach heat. So that's the going down the road heat. Um, that will cycle the uh, pump on and off, essentially, to uh, kind of regulate the heat that's coming, or the cabin temperature while you're driving. Uh, this couch uh, makes into a bed, pulls out. Uh, this table seats four. This also makes into a bed by dropping down. A really big kitchen counter. It's unusually long for a motorhome. All oak cabinetry. These uh, sort of these T-handle things hold the drawer shut when you're going down the road. Thought that was kind of clever. All the cabinets have a, uh, a latching mechanism in them that you can just kind of lift up and they'll stay up. Uh, there's another video on my channel where I go over all the storage in the bus. Uh, you can look for that if you want to find out about the bus storage, including the bays and everything. Uh, Three-way fridge, which means uh, 12 volt going down the road, uh, propane for boondocking, and 110 volt. Uh, this is a really good fridge. We love this fridge. Um, our bus has got a coyote on the back of it, and this guy is, uh, that's our little, little mascot there. Extra large sink. There's a microwave. An old style stove and oven with the oven on top. I'll tell you what, I mean, that thing's ugly, but, um. We really like it. It's it's nice having the oven up there where you can see it without having to bend over or crouch down and deal with all that. So it's kind of nice. Uh, we have a coyote here as well. This uh, coyote goes with the coyote that's on the back of the bus. Hot water heater controls both uh, gas and 110. Inverter controls and status, um, battery voltage, output, amperage, and so on. Now there is a bedroom that we added hiding out behind this door. Uh, there's a, a kid's bedroom down there. My daughter sleeps down there for privacy. She likes it. This, uh, this is folds up. And there's a light switch down there. And uh, she likes that for her privacy because she's a teenager. She does have a choice of sleeping on the couch, which she does from time to time. So this is uh, 
Lee Pissois. Not sure if I'm saying that right, it's French. Bathroom, stand-up shower, and uh, we throw everything on the floor in there. If we don't, it ends up on the floor. I guess some of that fell on its own, but shower head, soap dispenser. Toilets in here at kind of an angle. It does, uh, this is something we want to change. We want to make this uh, easier to get in and out of because, uh, you know, the guy that built the bus was a tall, skinny guy. Maybe that worked well for him, but uh, the way this is designed, you can't, you can't get the door all the way open. So you got to suck it in to get in the shower, which we do, but uh, yeah. Sink. Nothing special there. Full medicine cabinet. That fan is great. Works really well. Suck the steam out of the bathroom. Recently, re recently replaced that. There's a YouTube on that. We have a fantastic fan here too. Uh, really like those. They work good. This uh, is our instrumentation for all of our tanks and switches. See, I can get this so you can read them. DC amperage draw. battery voltage. We also have a little bit of solar on the roof. It's putting out a little bit of a little bit of amperage right now. And of course a bunch of these tank gauges don't work. Um, the fresh water works. Um, I think the gray kind of works. I don't know about the black one. The propane doesn't work at all. I just went through that too. It's kind of annoying. That's another project on the to-do list. The um, I like these gauges, but uh, I'm going to have to make some changes to that. And there's a closet here. with uh, It's a hanging closet. Uh, we have a queen bed back here. Walk around. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff on the bed. Pillows are in the house. Uh, TVs are on the bed because uh, we do not have them mounted to the walls yet. Um, I'm going to mount one of these in the bedroom. It's on the to-do list. The other one is going to mount up front, but I haven't really quite figured out a good location for that yet. So we just kind of set it up there on that center console when we're camping. And uh, there's a shelf over here that the uh, the other TV sets on in the bedroom. Uh, there's uh, cabinets and storage all across the back. These are wheel wells back here, and these panels just lift right up. They're just they're just held in place by gravity, so it makes it nice to be able to access the utilities and stuff that are in there. Also, uh, they're designed to be propped up when, in the winter time, if you've got water in the system, you can prop them up so that they'll get heat in there. So all that props up. Let's see, what did I miss? I know I missed some stuff, but uh, I can't really remember everything. Uh, we've got uh, we've got decorative uh, Tivoli lighting throughout the coach, which uh, I'd like to replace with LED. 
I've replaced some of the lighting with LED, but uh, we've still got some fluorescent in here. The fluorescent has got uh, DC ballast in it, so they actually work off 12 volt. Uh, pretty much everything in the coach works off of 12 volt, except for the air conditioners, the bathroom vanity light, and your household receptacles, uh, which many of those are on the inverter. But uh, yeah, it's set up. It's set up for 12 volt operation, which is a good design decision. You know, you're not you're not dependent on the inverter for things to function. Uh, we also have Wi-Fi in the coach. Um, this is called a uh, Camp Pro. This is kind of my wiring closet rat's nest thing. But basically, there is a uh, there's an antenna mounted to the side of our TV antenna. It's a long omnidirectional antenna. And when we arrive at a camp campground, uh, we can crank this up. This has a regular TV antenna, a manually aimed satellite dish, and the Wi-Fi all on the same mast. And it's essentially a Wi-Fi repeater. So we're inside a metal tube. If you're camping in a campground that has Wi-Fi, uh, it's not gonna penetrate the vehicle very well. So we have basically a Wi-Fi repeater and our own SSID and, and hotspot inside the bus. Uh, it serves a dual purpose when we're home. Uh, this actually, the system is strong enough to uh, function as Wi-Fi for my shop. So the antenna will penetrate the metal building, pick up the house Wi-Fi and repeat it inside my shop. So I get two for one there. Uh, we've got a color backup cam and we have an RVI brake system that has the uh, tire pressure monitoring option on it as well so this monitor serves a dual purpose it tells us the tire pressures on the coach and it also tells us the tire pressures on the toad and temperatures there's the temperatures and the braking is obviously off right now because we're not towing. So I'm sure I forgot a bunch of stuff. Um, we've got many projects planned for the bus. Um, I will try and do uh, another video here covering uh, some of the upgrades we're planning on doing. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, please subscribe.